podcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. This is Twit News Special number 371, recorded Tuesday, May 25th, 2021. Microsoft Build Keynote. Hello, everybody. Welcome once again to a thrilling, gripping edition of Sachin Adela's Cloud Vision. On, <laughs> on, on my left, Mary Jo Foley from allaboutmicrosoft.com, of course, one of our hosts for uh, Windows Weekly. Hi, Mary Jo. Thanks for joining us this morning. Hi. Actually, it's afternoon for you or will be soon. It is. And on my right, Paul Thorat, also from Windows Weekly and Thorat.com, tuning in to watch an exciting such an Adela <laughs> keynote. Um, we might want to level set this one a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Expectations. So, yeah. Unless there's a huge surprise. Maybe there's a huge you surprise. You never know. Last year, Bill, yeah. uh, Sacha started off, but then we saw Scott Hanselman and others, and it was a really yeah. fun, I thought, a combination of live and recorded uh, stuff. And I was hoping this would be the same, but it, it seems like what they've done is, is uh, separate things out into tracks. And uh, Nadella is just scheduled for half an hour uh, from 9 to 9.30. And it looks like that will be all he'll... <laughs> He'll have to say. Yeah, but maybe. Having had to exercise in the middle of a Nadella keynote, I'll just say uh, half an hour sounds good. Yeah, yeah short, it short does. And sweet. Half hour's good. Half hour's perfect. Yeah. Very famously, a few years ago, they uh, had such a long keynote, they had a break in the middle and get people to stretch so that nobody would pass out. Uh, we Last, last year, uh, Nadella uh, kind of mentioned Project Reunion and some other big initiatives for Microsoft. Mary Jo, have those all come to fruition? Um, uh, uh, well, you know, they're, they're, um, <laughs> they're, they're in process, I would say, right? Okay. Like Project Reunion is chugging along. It's going to be out in 1.0 form by the end of this year, we think. But they have a little incremental step this week at Build for that. Um, you know, I mean, to be fair, Google, uh, last week at Google I.O. announced 50 things that will never see the light of day. Um, yeah. So yeah. <laughs> a I developer know. conference doesn't necessarily mean a product launch. It, it will, doesn't really. It will with Apple right. in 10 days when they do. Uh, yeah. Their yeah. It depends on the company, Leo. You know, uh, Apple is skewed in one direction for the keynote and Microsoft is on the far end. Yeah. So yeah. this Google's is in the middle. this is a developer uh, oh, yeah. keynote. Although Nadella usually kind of sets expectations f uh, <laughs> for what's to come in the year, right? Yeah, he sometimes drops little hints that you have to really listen for, like emphasis on a certain product or something he says in a new way, and you're like, uh oh, he's tipping, he's tipping us to something, right? right? And that's uh, why you two so are yeah. here because I wouldn't notice. But we also <laughs> didn't hear anything about what Nadella's going to say ahead of time. No. So no, if there's going to be a surprise. Well, that's not fair. I guess we'll see some surprises, I think, in the sessions yeah. as well. Uh, not today, yeah. but but yeah, there could be some surprises. Well, uh, last year, uh, of course, uh, Nadella had that RGV2CW base64 <laughs> coded message uh, over his yeah. uh, left shoulder. So we'll be looking yeah. uh, for that as well. Um, you nerds looking for <laughs> the little decal on the shark as it swims by and lost or whatever. What, uh, is there anything at all that y you'll be looking for uh, in uh, today's talk? So the book of news is out already. Like all the announcements are out from under embargo. So we know what the big themes are right now, right? Um, I, I don't know what Paul thinks, but I think the biggest news of this show, or at least the headline grabbing news of this show is around Power Platform and specifically the Power FX language getting GPT-3 integration. You know, I know that sounds like a mouthful, right? <laughs> 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 but that, that for me was is a, a big. Is an artificial intelligence yeah. platform that's been used to... Yeah. Uh, write articles uh, of the sort that Paul Thorat publishes on his blog. Exactly. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> the, it, <clears throat> uh, GPT-3, as, as I've seen so far, g g can generate a lot of stuff. And then what often happens is you yeah. sift through the, the chaff looking for the kernels right. that are reasonably human. Exactly. Um, but so their, their idea is like we can get low code, no code developers to actually be able to do this job without coding. Because yeah. when they say low code now, you still have to kind of know what programming is all about to make that work. But their idea is integrate AI into this and maybe we can actually make this something for every person. This has been a big push this year is this low code, no code platform. Yeah. 
Uh, and I think that's really an enterprise push, right? That's to get that's to get uh, businesses to uh, do their own yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, we're going to go right now to the video because they're starting to warm up. <laughs> Nadella will okay. take the stage cool. in one minute, and uh, they're starting to show. Uh, I'd like to see you know, if I could dream for a half a second. Yes, uh, I'd love to see them do a quick little Sun Valley preview just to get people excited. Oh man, oh man, you know? that's, that's the crazy. new look Windows 10. <laughs> yeah, now I don't expect that. But no. that would be neat. That would be cool. It's been a while since Microsoft's had anything super surprising. Last year, I remember though, Nadella really built on trust uh, and um, and uh, privacy and so he used the word term sovereignty. Mm -hmm. I wonder if we'll see all of that again. Uh, Leo, do we have an, the software so that our little bubbles can bounce around accurately in the window? We and could do that. Screen off the screen. And then we could do the DVD <laughs> screensaver and see if you would hit yes. the corner. We could do that. <laughs> like, right. But let's bounce them out right now as we begin. <laughs> Such an Adela the digital CEO. wave is transforming the world. Across every continent, country, economy, and industry. A better world. Thanks to developers. Thanks to you. To you. The people who help bridge the digital and physical. Through the isolation of the pandemic. You forged new applications, capabilities, and experiences. And became digital first responders. To the first responders. You overcame enormous constraints. Working together as a community. You made us more resilient. Connected. Inspired. Productive. Educated. Joyful. And healthy. Now, developers are building our way forward. As the digital wave is accelerating. should mention that pre previously recorded bug is theirs, not growing. ours. So, so they, I guess, want you to know competitive. this is not live. Governments yeah, more responsive. Education yeah. more accessible. I think it's pretty obvious. All mm -hmm. to keep our world uh, thriving. But maybe it's so that when you Nadella takes the stage and it says live, it will be more obvious in that the lab. actually right. live. Even in outer space. That was one of the surprises uh, last week with Everywhere. Google I.O. is that uh, Sonar Pichai did, in fact, do his Being thing live. A developer is possible for anyone who wishes to shape the future. And then there were That's interspersed with pre-recorded things. Mm -hmm. To empower you. We don't know if Nadella was live last year. I, I suspect he was recorded, but let's see. There's no reason without a live audience to do it live. Yep. Good morning and welcome to Build. And it's they left great the bug to up, be together. So we, I guess we now know. There is no doubt yeah. it's been a right, challenging the year. Is that an Atari 400 to over, uh, over a on public the, health and right an there. economic uh, crisis? <laughs> it looks like it. Persistent <laughs> issues of racial injustice and inequity and the damaging somewhere. effects of climate change. Hmm. These crises will require long-term commitment and here. real work from all of us. Mm -hmm. Right off the top. And this conference is about the role, the responsibility, and the opportunity of this community in shaping what comes next. Over the past year, you have shown what is possible when you come together and bring together the atoms of the real world with the bits of the virtual world. You've helped society overcome these enormous challenges while at the same time overcoming the challenges of your own circumstances. So I want to say a big thank you. You've acted as digital first responders in a moment when we needed you the most. Does Helping those on the front lines deliver on critical bingo care card? and rapidly develop vaccines. <laughs> What's a digital you first responder? You businesses remain resilient, ensuring <laughs> they were able to quickly adapt and stay open for when first storefronts responded. closed. Oh, maybe. And you helped us yeah. reimagine They're not exactly on the front where lines. humanity can go yeah. and what there's as far back as I can get. The helicopter running space. Linux on the surface of Mars. And it's just the beginning. <laughs> just think about the world in 2030. Right. Next Tech as a percentage of total GDP will double from 5 to 10%. <clears throat> but the most notable thing is what will happen to the other 90%. Digital transformation that was projected to happen no. over the next 10 years no. will be happening today. <laughs> don't like it. Computing becomes you don't like that word? In every aspect I of our it. lives. <laughs> Digital transformation be that, that really I had to physically restrain her one year. <laughs> the world will be transformed through tech intensity at scale. Every organization will not only need to 
adopt the latest technology, tech intensity, but too, more really. importantly, tech intensity. Build bringing out the big guns. Own unique digital technology. What is tech intensity? Is that a thing? We are seeing a surge no. of developers. <laughs> of <laughs> Over the past two it's, years, the yeah. number I took of it to be synonymous with digital transformation, but has grown it faster is. than at tech companies. Yeah. Industries hiring developers most rapidly include agriculture, mm -hmm. consumer goods, energy, finance, and wellness. To share just one example, in the automotive industry, there were more software engineers than mechanical engineers hired over the last year. And we are seeing growth in every region, Nigeria, Hong Kong, Saudi Arabia, Bangladesh, and Egypt, top the list of new contributors to GitHub in 2020. And over the past 12 months, the percentage of developer job postings that were remote increased 8x year over year. In a digital first company, the developer workflow influences how the entire company works. Fusion teams of pro developers and domain experts will integrate all functions and all disciplines. For example, students and teachers, data analysts and scientists have all seen rapid growth on GitHub. And of course, we are experiencing massive technological and societal shifts, which will create new and lasting opportunity for all of you. As the physical and digital worlds converge, every organization, small or large, in every industry, in every country, will require more ubiquitous and decentralized compute power. Large AI models are becoming platforms creating ambient intelligence around us. The balance between consumption and creation is changing. More and more people are creating something new and magical every day. And they're growing communities who want to discover, explore, and build on their creations. We need a virtuous cycle between content consumption and commerce driven by communities for everything we build. And we'll need to unlock the economic opportunity and productivity to prepare every person for the task at hand and for the jobs of the future. And finally, we will need trust by design. The design and development process itself must prioritize privacy, cybersecurity, digital safety, and responsible AI across everything we do. No one will want technology that rapidly scales but breaks the world around us. We want to empower you to seize these opportunities and build what comes next. Our ambition is to be the platform for platform creators. This conference is not about setting new rules minute. or constraints That's that dictate inception. how the or platform what you for build. platform creators. It's not even about celebrating yeah, our own innovation. Creators. It's about innovation. There's a couple of cricket balls. I don't think they're. I think they're cricket balls, not uh, croquet balls behind him. The on That's are there any actual crickets? I swear that looks like an Atari 400, but to make so I know why you say easier. that, but it's for it's all. smaller and the keyboards are on. I don't know what that is. Yeah, it looks. It's old. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's vintage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's definitely something from the 70s. This year. Let me share just a Here's the seven core teams. The developer velocity, power of It day. starts with our end-to-end -end developer tool chain. We're a company built by developers for developers first. Tool chain is excellent. From GitHub to Visual Studio, we provide the most comprehensive tool chain GitHub, and services right for there. every developer, every yeah. app, and every platform. So you can rapidly go from idea to code and code Microsoft to Microsoft has really written that story very, very well over the last five, ten years. Yes. The tools and promoted to Power Platform to tier A pretty quickly, too. And That's that low-code uh, solution. Scale and mm -hmm. amplify yep. your work so that you can collaborate across these fusion teams and build applications together. You'll hear from Amanda Silva and Donovan Brown. How By the way, Toyota he said Microsoft 365. I don't know that drives me crazy. <laughs> as well as structured and unstructured to build a mission-critical internal vehicle delivery app. And Julie Strauss will show you how we're bringing the world's most powerful language model, GPT-3, to Power Platform. If you can describe what you want to do in natural language, GPT-3 oh, will generate a list of the most yeah. relevant big, formula big for you to choose right from. Here. I like this. Is, yeah, I think I agree with Mary Joe's natural, the biggest announcement. Yeah, natural language processing in the no code environment. I mean, developers already yell at their computers anyway. Yeah. It's just kind of <laughs> the final line. I wonder how well that'll work. That's yeah. very cool. The opportunity yeah. responsibility to make organizations sovereign in terms of their own data being used Kubernetes to benefit right their here. own organization. <laughs> 
The opportunity is clear. The next generation of applications There's a photo will not be reactive uh, on his uh, because right of their ability of, uh, to harness the original the Windows 1.0, it looks that like. next level of intelligence. Yeah. On a From P- IBM PC. From SQL and Postgres SQL, Cosmos DB to Synapse and Synapse Link and Purview, Azure is the only cloud with limitless yeah, he, I gotta data I got to say, he's the only CEO. This stuff rolls off the tongue. Uh, I mean, he just, you could tell he's, he's right in him this. and Sundar could kind of handle the same. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Oh, she sure rolls off the tongue, though. Of course, Azure was his business before exactly. he came to it was. For their live audio conversations on Twitter spaces, making it a platform more accessible. And Walmart.com is using Cosmos DB to power their e-commerce transactions over holidays, handling billions of requests daily and providing millions of the customers with items they wanted when they needed them. Cosmos DB has become the go-to database to power the world's most demanding mission-critical applications. New capabilities boost performance by more than 300% for these read-heavy workloads. And Rohan Kumar will share updates for Cosmos DB, Azure SQL, and this our This is really OSS a preview of all the tracks that are coming at later in the day and week. modernize high-performance yeah. app at any scale. Yep. Eric Boyd will talk about our new initiative with PyTorch to introduce PyTorch Enterprise on Azure, providing a more reliable production experience for organizations using PyTorch for their data science work. No other cloud is doing this today. And Kevin Scott will talk about the groundbreaking work we're doing with OpenAI on large-scale models. Now let's talk about cloud. You know, there are apps. three tiny the Windows boxes up on the top left the when they. S- yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Software, yeah. software box. Pretty much as prominent as Windows is going to be in the show, I think. <laughs> Where's the Delphi Bible, though? That's what I want to know. No, yeah, it's, off, it's off. It's right I, off the I edge. I do see that giant Visual Basic box. Holy cow. Yeah. Yeah. I think I have that exact box. Simpla. To help you build and That's create to hold all the floppies. The That's an old the one, yeah. Will be it's a well, Sinclair ZX80. We've identified it thanks okay. to the... Uh, Thanks to Big Tech Coach in our Discord. So, if I'm not mistaken, that was uh, something like that was sold as a Timex in the United States. I think that's right. It's the Timex computer. But I just didn't recognize it. It makes sense. It would be British. Show the uh, Discord screen, John, because I think that's a really good. You will hear more. I mean, it's clearly that's what that is. And with AKS, oh, can Azure you see my screen? Maybe you can. You can now build consistent applications across Azure and hybrid. Deploying AKS How long before we get AWS? AWS? See, that's oh, no. exactly <laughs> what that is. Look at that. Uh, yeah, now definitely. The future work. Nice job. Work, yeah, in fact, I, that is the one that's the computer that became the time in Sinclair. Yep. It's interesting. The one behind it looks like it has a numeric keyboard. <laughs> Launched in uh, January 1980. So it's 30 years old. Both digital and physical, as well as changes to One of the very first personal computers. That's why it was sold we for uh, less than 100 pounds. Layer for all the ways people work, learn, and collaborate. Teams now has 145 million daily it's active an interesting users, choice, almost frankly. double the number a year ago. Yeah. It's the maybe he grew up on it. You know, he, uh, oh, maybe. Maybe. So maybe. So he might have had started access yeah. to British yeah. technology. Yeah. This is a number we've seen before, right? The 145 million yeah, that's yeah. 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 Use. Yeah. The forefront of app design, as Jeff Tipo will show you. One of the things... I'm most excited about is how with Teams and Office, we're enabling a new category of cross-device collaborative applications. Just like Win32 defined a new era of apps and web apps and mobile apps did the same. This new generation of cross-device love collaborative love applications that he just compared it to will Win32. be transformational <laughs> first-class <laughs> yeah, Maybe not the <laughs> most <laughs> felicitous example, comparison, we'll but... You. Well, I mean, it was the source was. of millions and millions yeah, yeah. of dollars. Yeah. Yeah. That we're all trying to forget now, but Microsoft yes. Yeah. So yeah. Teams is... Uh, right is he pushing Teams as a platform a for developers? Yes. Yeah. To join yep. a conference call when required. And yeah, there's a bunch of meeting app announcements uh, as part of this. Teams and Office mm-hmm. helping you integrate your apps into critical endpoints like Teams meetings, delivering a unified development model for message extensions across Teams and Outlook, and making Teams app development So I can see how appealing this would be to enterprises. It's kind of like what Google announced last week with uh, their workspaces, this kind of ability to inject clear that as components into the document. A digital company, the mm-hmm. largest developer opportunity is building industry-specific business process SaaS applications. 40 years, sorry, yeah, my math's bad. Charles Lamana will talk about how to build these next-generation cloud-native SaaS apps that compose on top of other clouds and components. 
These SaaS apps Much like that helmet high level composing on top of that guy. <laughs> and then low code and workflow platforms. And how do, how reuse do they not call them sassy apps? <laughs> this is how you can maximize. Andy Jassy no and sassy. <laughs> Just to show you how a fantastic yeah. demo of Finastra is using our financial services cloud with Teams, Power Platform, and Azure as their core platform to accelerate time to development of a new application. Mm. And we see I bet you anything that Sinclair is the first computer that Dell had. In order to right next to a floppy, generation. by the way. Sure. That totally makes sense. Eight inches. That's the right time frame. Five. Finally, <laughs> yep. as the virtual and physical worlds converge, mm. The metaverse, made up of digital twins, simulated environments, and mixed reality, the metaverse is emerging as a, is a great platform. word for him. <laughs> With the Ready Player the One is a documentary, and we're going to make it happen. That is Ready Player One, yeah, isn't it? Is it? Looks, <laughs> it looked like it. <laughs> I guess it's not. That it's that whole a mesh, Microsoft the mesh thing. Right. Right. And up to date. right. Yeah. Synapse tracks the history of digital twins and finds insights. This is a much more developer-focused talk than last time. Build a uh, yeah, it and is. really about. We should appreciate that, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. No, it's Power great. Platform enables domain experts to expand. I think he maybe took the criticism that he was often a little too high in the clouds uh, with his. Mm -hmm. And Hololens this is very concrete. Real-time collaboration. Sam and George it does position one of my favorite examples of the developer how tools. Bush InBev has mm -hmm. used our metaverse stack to track I'm surprised they don't start. Beer, the beer, guys. Beer in the metaverse. <laughs> I love it. They should time Time Visual Studio releases to build. Of their yeah. yeah, why don't they? Yeah. Yeah. It's on. Well, know. maybe they don't want to be in November. They don't want to be tied to it, maybe. Yeah. It should be. It understands these complex relationships between equipment and natural ingredients. It enables the brewmasters to make adjustments based on dynamic conditions. It maintains uptime on many machines required that during the packaging typical process. brewery. <laughs> this, is, this beautiful historic structure. <laughs> it really speaks, though, to the developers who <laughs> probably appreciate this. Yeah. Like Mary Jo. Beer developers. They go <laughs> hand natural. in hand. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. For bottlenecks. They even no use bottlenecks here. With their digital well, twin actually, lots of assistance. them. But <laughs> Across all the opportunities I've highlighted today, Windows is implicit. Pun, it's never been more important. Windows 10 is used by more than 1.3 billion people to work, learn, he connect, actually and said play. Windows. And it all starts with Windows as a dev box. Windows is a dev box. Windows brings together all your developer and collaboration tools in one place. end with Windows as a dev box, too, if you're not it careful. you choose the <laughs> hardware you want, works with Linux and Windows environments as one, and has a modern So Brad terminal. says that we are seeing soon we a little bit of, uh, of Sun Valley in the, in the screenshots. The past decade really? To we unlock are. greater economic opportunities. Or right, maybe not. Maybe I'm misunderstanding what he's saying. I've been self -hosting rounded corners on edge. Maybe. There are some rounded corners on edge. We will yeah, there already are. More okay. For every Windows developer but that today, is itself a welcome preview. every creator. Yeah. He did say that the most significant the most updates to Windows in the past decade is in the works. Platform to build and distribute and monetize well, the past decade's already over, so that's great. <laughs> but, you know, so we're going to make up for the past decade next year. So there was a little tease that there's something new coming to Windows, which they'll share soon. Yeah. Okay. Right. So I'm not going to get my little highlight reel. App models are changing. Apps themselves are changing. They will all become multi-cloud, multi-edge, as well as multi-sense and multi-device. One of the They'll be most significant updates are. to Windows Devices in the past decades is in the works. Harmoniously together we'll to see it very and soon. Put people at the center of these Wonder what that means. And most that's, Sun Valley. that's how they've just, that's the Sun Valley thing. <laughs> that's Sun Valley, okay. Yeah, you that's are the how they've described doing it the hard work to shape this new reality. This is why you guys are on. Everything we will show you is designed to, to empower you and empower down my enthusiasm. I can't wait to see what you create. Thank you so much. 17 and minutes and 24 seconds in. He's still, there's still 13 minutes left in the keynote. Satya, that's the shortest keynote ever I, from Satya I So wait, what are they going to do with the last 10 minutes? Let's see. Play I'm it curious. again. Is there more? Play it no, again, is Sham. Is there more? They're not really. Is there going to be like a quick Panos camera? No. It's Wines, nope. Along with now we're back to... Uh, these guys, <laughs> Rick, <laughs> Rick, and Allison, and Jamie. Yeah. Well, I do like Jamie's jumpsuit. It looks like that was 3D printed. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm sure glad I came in. And I'm so glad you guys joined me. <laughs> uh, he know. did a lot in 17. He, and he a half really minutes. rifled he through. Yeah.
He really did. He did. But it was essentially a roadmap of build. Yes. Yeah. yeah, and it followed the yeah. the pattern of the book in a way because the book of news that we got because it just yeah. kind of went through those uh, major sections. Windows was at the end. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Hmm. I mean, you know, these shows are always complex. No matter how big the keynote is, you really have to pay attention to what happens in the sessions, yeah. and it's hard because there's so many of them. But there will be. Yeah. Uh, tidbits everywhere for the next couple of days for sure and it's and it, it, you know to your point last year they barely mentioned windows this year nadella says windows <laughs> is implicit it's more never been more yeah. important you know for a while there was this trend toward we don't really care if you use windows right uh now they're pretty much saying no no this is if you want to develop you need to develop with windows yeah. Well, I think they're saying Windows Windows yeah. is among the platforms they do developer tools for. But right. before it was kind of like, and we're going to put it at the bottom of the list. And now it's not at the bottom of the list anymore. Yeah. But it's still one of many platforms. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't think they've dropped their yeah. heterogeneous thing, but they have this platform yeah. that they've kind of let sit still for a while. Yeah. Yeah. So this could, you know, hopefully this... Uh, even if it's just a UI overhaul, honestly, it's yeah. so necessary. Yeah. You know, maybe there's more, but I, I would be okay with just that, honestly, at this yeah. point. Yeah. Yep. Um, <laughs> there was, was there any news? I don't think so. It went very well, there's, quickly. There's like, yeah. no, nothing that we didn't know in advance through the book of news, right? right? That, I, I mean, it, I feel like this of. is a very incremental build, right? Like there's new features yeah. across a ton of products, but nothing that you're like, wow, this is unbelievable, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, for I, some, I focus on the client. And so, you know, you, you kind of look at the Microsoft 365 stuff. There's some news there with Teams especially. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and there's a little bit of news on the Windows side that he didn't mention the Snapdragon developer kit, which I think is a big deal right. and about two mm -hmm. years overdue, but whatever, that's fine. They're partnering with Qualcomm to ship what looks like a little Apple TV or Roku style puck that's a, a tiny uh, Qualcomm computer. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, that developers can buy, we don't know how cheaply, but less expensively than a laptop. Isn't it like 300 bucks or something? It should be. Oh, do you know a price? Yeah. I've not seen a price. I hope yeah. it's that cheap. Yeah. That's great. Because yeah. they'll, they'll get a lot really of enthusiasts cheap. with that. Unfortunately, yeah. Yeah. today, ARM announced their new platform. Yes. So, yeah. Uh, and, and part of the new ARM platform is desktop, uh, is, is aimed at the mm -hmm. desktop. So, yeah. That stuff's only going to get better. And by the way, that announcement may be why Qualcomm waited on the next gen chip because now it's going to come in the wake uh, because, you know, they build off that. Yep. Yeah. So it's Cortex mm -hmm. X2. It's their first V9 mm -hmm. CPUs. And, and uh, according to uh, Qualcomm, I'm sorry, ARM, it's really designed as much for desktop as it is for smartphones. Yeah. Right. Great. So, we, yeah. need, we need the help. So that, so that Windows on ARM box, that Snapdragon box, uh, is mm -hmm. is older technology now, but I presume they'd update it. As soon it's as actually worse than that because it's <laughs> to date they've only shipped like eight hundred series chips for window, you know, for Windows. And right. um, yeah, they need to get uh, they need what, to get up to. Well, date this is on a Windows. seven. It's a seven C. So they've got, oh, they've even yeah. gone down. We're now to from, we're now to nine. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. PyTorch on Azure. I guess that's that's really big for that's big data yeah. data scientists. Yep. Um. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do a huge drill down tomorrow on. Yeah, yeah. there's gonna be so much more information tomorrow. On Windows Weekly, yeah, but yep. and, yeah. So I like we know there's gonna be surprises, but even what he just said yeah. was only a subset of what was right. You totally. know, of the announcement, yep. the official announcement. I'm looking at the so book of news. Yeah, there's a lot. I mean, yeah, yeah. there is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it is. It, I think it's it should be uh, good news for Windows fans that that Windows. <laughs> this time really was a big part of the talk. He, they, I think maybe we're stung a little bit by the accusation that they were they were not paying enough attention to Windows last time. <laughs> well, right. we've been doing this for years. You know, you think know. at some point uh, they would acknowledge this platform that they have that has over a billion users, 1.3 yeah. billion now. Um, obviously, they make Visual Studio. You get the be by far the best experience on Windows. Um, I, it just is a developer show. It's one of your, it just never made sense to me how much they've ignored it. So, 
Yeah. And you he, know what we'll I thought he was going to do? Like you know what I thought he was going to do, though? I thought there was going to be a slide where he said, and the big Windows reveal event is going to be on. Oh, blah, blah. Well, that would have been fun. <laughs> June yep. 21st. And that would whatever, be Sun right? Valley, right? That would be about the new look, mm -hmm. basically. Yeah, we yep. think they're going to show, we think they've got to show us pretty soon Sun Valley because insiders are going to start getting builds where right. this shows up, right? Right, <laughs> yeah, right. Well, I know you guys probably want to file, so uh, I thank okay. you for, <laughs> for joining us for a 23 yeah. window. <laughs> yeah, sorry it wasn't that exciting. <laughs> you know, but you, we got to do it. And yeah. I think it's always news when Satya Nadella talks and build is a big part yeah. of, uh, yeah. for developers, a big part of the uh, Microsoft experience. So we're so glad. Yeah. Uh, and, and without you guys, I don't know what I would say. So I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Mary Jo Foley, all about Microsoft.com, her ZDNet blog, uh, Paul Therat from Therat.com, his blog. You guys will be back tomorrow, 11 a.m. Yep. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern. With Windows Weekly, we will have, I'm sure, a lot to say about the book of news and what's developed over the last 20 of the 24 hours that uh, we've had to uh, build online. Thank you guys for joining me. I really Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you, you all for being here for this Twit News special. Take care.